So in less than an hour, the Oregon Ducks will tip off. We're talking sweet 16. It is tonight, but making it to the Elite Eight will not be easy. No, Juan, the, the team is up against number one seed Virginia. KGW's Orlando Sanchez is live in Louisville tonight, where the game is set to tip off just before seven. Not long from now, Orlando, we can feel the excitement from here. Yeah, uh, my ears are still coming back from parting with the band pregame, but guys, all of the work is done. It comes down to this. As we mentioned, the Ducks, massive underdogs, eight and a half points, according to Vegas. ESPN giving them about a 7% chance at defeating number one Virginia. This is what it comes down to, folks, the Sweet 16. Now, just moments ago, we got a chance to see the team leave the hotel. It was packed with fans and the band and the cheerleaders everything you need to get the energy up for this matchup now they are in the house here inside the kfc yum center outside it wasn't that difficult to find ducks fans there were so many here that wanted to show out and show support to their teams and they were also here to support head coach dana altman we ran into a couple of his players he coached back in the 80s Oh, very proud of him. You know, very proud of him. He's uh, he's done it. He's done a great job. I know you guys are happy with him as well. <laughs> I'm proud of him. Um, I'm an old uh, truck driver, so I had some time off, and I called coach up, let him ask him to get some tickets, he got me some tickets. So I'm here to support him and the team. And here's the kicker. Neither one of them knew that they were coming to this game. They just ran into each other, saw our camera out here, and the rest is history. I thought that was really cool stuff to see something like that, that they're still supporting their head coach 30 years ago. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so the Ducks, 7 o'clock tip-off, as you guys mentioned, taking on number one Virginia. Those Cavaliers. Tough to beat. Only three losses on the season all year long. Their defense is stout. They have the offense to match. The Ducks are going to have to play their best game of the season in order to keep this magical run alive. They've won 10 straight games, and it comes down to this in the Sweet 16. Winner moves on to the Elite Eight. Loser, well, it's all over for them. Back to you. I keep thinking about that 7% chance of victory. That means the pressure's off, and you got to be afraid of a good team that doesn't feel the pressure, especially Virginia. That, you know, they, they feel like they, ha you know, they have to win this game. They're, they're not the underdog. We'll see what happens. Orlando, They've thank you. They've been counted out before. They're not out. Yes. We can beat the odds. Thank you, Orlando. Let's talk about the Duck women. They arrived in Portland today. They practice at the Moda Center ahead of their matchup against South Dakota State. Star player Sabrina Unescu says Oregon is counting on experience to propel them to the Elite Eight. Now that this core group of, of us Ducks have been in this position, I think we know what to expect. We know how hard and difficult it's going to be to, to get to a Final Four, to get to a national championship. And so I think that hunger is inside of us. All right, game time for the Duck women tomorrow at 8.30. If you can't make it to the Moda Center, it will be on ESPN2.